I'll let you too. Well, I got another one of these, except it's not a realistic version. It's an Optimus version of the SA-155. Uh, I bought it from my local record shop. Uh, the funny thing is, I was actually negotiating with another YouTuber buying one of the, one of these new in the box, but just so happens I ran into this one at the local record shop when I came by to look at some Devo records. Go figure, huh? This one can use just a tiny bit of cleaning up, but it looks pretty darn good. And the main reason I got this is because this one has these melting marks on the top, the realistic version I have, so this one just looks like crap. So this one will be a much better fit down here, I think, once I clean it up a little bit. It'll look great. Uh, let's see when these were built. Uh, this one was built in... March of 1993, so that's when uh, Radio Shack was still using the realistic brand name. And this one was built in September 1999, so this one is very, very new. Uh, they were also RCA versions of this, believe it or not. So, uh, they changed the branding a couple of times. Uh, so, I found another one of these. Sweet. So this one I can use as just like a little test amplifier, uh, since it's kind of the the, the boo boo one, <laughs> and I can just use the, I can use this one as the computer amplifier. Cool. It's no different than the other ones, although the back looks a lot nicer on this one than it does on this one. Actually, they're both the same. Never mind. <laughs> This one just looks cleaner to me. Like the, the fonts just look a, like the whole thing is just a lot nicer and less beat up. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I can move this to ceramic and have a phono input or have a RCA input, which is pretty cool. And there you have it, folks. There is one big difference between these two I should note, and that's the power cord. This is the 1999 one. It has a really nice power cord. It's just, you know a lot thicker and everything. 1993 one has a much thinner power cord. You know, one that's more typical. So that's about the only other difference that I can see. But otherwise they both work and sound the same. So there you have it. Alright, I got the Optimus version of this SA-155 and in the last in the last video about one of these I showed you what it sounds like now I think I should show you what the inside of one of these looks like as you can see uh, I took all the knobs out you have to take all these knobs out here they're just on regular potentiometers uh, then what you do is you unscrew the feet you also unscrew these two screws here and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. And the chassis just slides right out the front like that. And this is what you get. Get a nice transformer right there. Looks like some wire nuts here. Yeah, some wire nuts there. Uh, and this is what's inside an SA-155. And the board inside this is very similar to the 150. And I believe the RCA version as well. Uh, you get you start here with the transformer. And there you go. You get your on and off and speakers. You get your uh, power and mono switch there. You get some little potentiometers here. Get some little potentiometers there. The I have no clue what these are. Honestly, um, they look like they could be fuses or something. If you look down there, you see a little schematic symbol. That that's a capacitor symbol right there, and that symbol there is a capacitor. So maybe this is some weird kind of capacitor. I have no idea. Yeah, these are capacitor. These are marked capacitor. I wonder what kind of capacitors these are, because they don't look like any I've ever seen. Um, here we have some. Uh, I'll kind of capture these Leylon caps. Those are good caps. Uh, see, there's not much in here. There's the back there. There's quite a bit of plastic in these uh, 
connectors here, unfortunately. But that's all right. There's the volume control. It is a one hundred k times two pot, so it should be easily re so it should be able to be replaced if it ever goes bad. And there you have it, guys. There's the switch for the uh, ceramic and phono section. And this whole thing is amplified by a single chip. An LA4440 2K5. So this amplifier is IC based, but it's not an STK chip or anything like that. It's just a small little amplifier IC. This is the reason that this is 1.8 watts per channel, because this is what it uses to amplify. And this is the soldering work, if you want to take a look at that. It looks like it's very well done. Um, so, I'm pretty happy with that. And this is, this one I'm showing, this particular one I'm showing you now is the realistic version, but the, uh, the Optimus version will be exactly the same. It was built exactly the same by the same manufacturing. Um, it was just, you know, they just slapped a different brand name on it to, you know, to tie all their brands together. But that is the inside of a, uh, SA-150, 55, um, little integrated amplifier. I love these things. They're wonderful little amplifiers if you just need to, need, you know, just a simple setup. Uh, for example, if all you do is, um... Uh, uh, if all you need an amplifier for is computer audio, one of these is perfect for that. Um, that's exactly what I use it for, uh, both here in my bedroom, next to my bed, and uh, downstairs on my main computer. I use one of these on my main computer because the sound is great, so why not? Anyway, that's a look inside one of these. Uh, you can see just how compact and how little there is to these, uh, and that's kind of a good thing. You don't want a whole... If there was a lot to these, there'd be a lot to fix if something broke. So, I'm thankful for that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.